Welcome to Small Loft Workshop. I'm John. In this episode we're going to finalise the build for the Corn TV unit. If you recall, in part one, we made the top. Now let's go ahead and finish the build. So now we have the unit, we can use it to mark out the frame that sits beneath. And once we have our sizes and cutting list, we can go right ahead and start cutting the timber. Now, as many of you have reported on social media, there seems to be a lack of timber in the market. So I couldn't quite get the sizes that I wanted. So I had to rip the timber down and then pass it through the thicknesser to regularise it. Once we add all our sections, I drilled some holes for pocket hole screws and then screwed the frames together. In total, there are five frames, four for the sides and one for the front. Here is a larger front frame being put together. Once all the frames were together, it was time to assemble the front three frames. I can't assemble the full construction in the loft because I'll never get it out. Once the front was together, I could then use this to measure off the panels and the middle shelf. Once again I used my biscuit jointer before gluing the panels together. The panels were then cut to size and width with a 22.5 degree angle that formed the bevel on the back of the unit. And then to regularise all the panels 
I just pass them through the Triton planer. The middle shelf was cut in the same way as the top. It was shaped on the Evolution miter saw. I put some pocket holes in the end of the shelf to assist in assembling later. Once the panels were finished I gave everything a rough sand and then I installed the front two side panels. And this was the last part of the job that I completed in the loft workshop. Once outside, the first job was to connect the top to the front and side panels. I use the middle shelf to square up the assembly. The top and the frames were glued together and also secured with screws and inch by inch timbers. The next job was to fix the shelf to the front of the frame. These were fixed using the pre-cut biscuits and also secured by pocket hole screws. These were again fitted with biscuits cut in a 22.5 degree chamfer. I used a couple of screws just to secure the tail of the panel whilst it dried. I made sure that most of the glue squeeze out was cleaned off with a wet cloth whilst assembling. And then the final two panels could be inserted. On the rear of the unit I fastened a fifth leg just for stability, also with an old just for a cable tidy where all the DVD and HDMI cables would pass. With the main carcass complete, it was time to install the bottom drawer. Draw runners were installed to some battens fixed on the underside of the middle shelf. Then away from the camera I knocked up a small drawer using pocket holes and an MDF bottom. A small sliver of hardboard was used as a spacer whilst assembling the drawer to the runners.
I drilled a couple of holes in the draw front where the draw pulls would eventually go and also some holes in the draw box so I could fix the front onto the draw. I then used a few pieces of card to centralise the front in the frame before fixing the draw front on temporary with the two holes I'd made in the front, opened the draw and then fixed it permanently from inside the draw. And finally, just to ignore the neighbours on a Sunday afternoon, I decided I would give it a good sanding down outside. Now the lady that I'm making this project for wants to finish it herself, but just to ensure there was no glue squeeze out, I gave it its first coat of walnut stain. And that's it, finished. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. Thank you, goodbye.